Okay, let us discuss problem number 1.140. So let me first draw the diagram for this problem, then we'll discuss. So we have a diagram here. So this goes something like this. This is a surface, horizontal surface. And this mass is here. And there is a spring attached and there is a pulley over this mass and this pulley is connected through this mass by a cord and uh, other end of the cord is connected by a mass B Now let us call this mass as A this point is P and they are calling this point as O and the length of the natural length of the spring is L0. So this distance from here to here, this is given to you, this distance is L0. Now let me read the question. This says, a small bar A resting on a horizontal a smooth plane. So this plane is a smooth, that is mu is equals to 0. is attached by thread to point P. So this mass is attached through a thread by point P and by means of bedless pulley. So this pulley is basically bedless. Also says this pulley, this thread is attached to other end of the thread is attached to mass B. Same mass. So mass of B is M and mass of A is also M. So this has mass M. So both having same mass M. Now question says beside the bar is also attached to point O by means of a light non-deformable string of length L0. So string length L0 and a stiffness constant K is given. K for this spring is phi mg by L0. So let us say phi mg by L0 that is given to you when where m is the mass of the bar the thread pa having have been one so what we are doing is this thread is one so i can say we can cut this thread this bar as well as this mass starts moving find the velocity when it breaks off the plane so we have to find the velocity of a or even this mass both will have same velocity so find the velocity of a velocity of a when this mass breaks up this horizontal plane at breaking off do you understand what i mean when i say breaking or breaking of means this mass when leaves this horizontal plane so let us see what will happen I will make a short diagram. So this is the horizontal plane. Initially the mass is here. In this line. So there is a mass is here. After some time, this mass will be here. Are you getting? And the pulley is here. So this is attached through the pulley itself. And this mass is attached to the pulley. There is another mass. Are you getting? Now this is the ceiling. Now a string will basically will get elongated and now again this is connected to this mass. Let us say this angle is theta. One important point we have in this question is velocity of this mass and velocity of this mass will be equal because you see if this string goes this side by x, this string will also come this side by x. So the velocity of this string and velocity of this string will be equal. So velocity of this mass and velocity of this mass will be equal. Both are v. Now let us consider the case when this just breaks up the plane. So what are the forces that is acting? So we will have kx in this direction. And the component of kx in this direction will be kx cos theta 
and normal reaction will also act in this direction. Mg will act in the downward direction and tension in this will act in this direction and this side you will have Kx sin theta so let me write so this side you will have Kx sin theta are you getting? so we have to find out the condition when this just breaks off we have to find out the velocity so let me see uh, find out the elongation in the spring so first I am interested in finding elongation in the spring elongation in the spring this will be equals to you see initial length is L naught now this length be, will be L naught by cos theta that is L naught sec theta so a spring elongation will be L naught sec theta minus L naught let us try to understand once again. So this length is L naught. So this length will be L naught divided by cos theta that is L naught sec theta. So this is the L naught sec theta is the now length. The initial length was L naught. So L naught sec theta minus L naught. This is the x that is elongation. So elongation I can also write L naught sec theta minus 1. Now condition for breaking off if I write equation in the vertical direction n plus kx cos theta so we will have n plus kx cos theta that is the vertical direction of force it should be equal to downward force that is mz no any other force and now when it just breaks off normal reaction will be zero so this just lifts the horizontal plane in that case normal reaction will be zero so i will have kx cos theta will be mz and k value is given in the problem that is 5 mz by L naught this is the k that is given in the problem into x into cos theta this is equals to mz now I also know the value of x x is L naught sec theta minus 1 so if I plug this value here mz mz goes so I will have 5 x is L naught sec theta minus 1 L naught sec theta minus 1 divided by L naught into cos theta this is equals to 1 are you getting? now you solve for cos theta so if you try to solve this one you will have here you will have 5 L naught goes so and cos theta also goes so 1 minus cos theta this is equals to 1 so you will have so 5 minus 5 cos theta is equals to 1 so you will have 4 is equals to 5 cos theta so you will have cos theta is basically equals to 4 by 5 are you getting so when the vertical it makes an angle of cos theta 4 by 5 at that point of time this object is going to leave the horizontal plane this is just a condition for breaking off that is the normal reaction is 0 so if I know cos theta I can also find elongation elongation is x that we have written in the previous you check your copy so x is nothing but L naught sec theta minus 1 you have here this is L naught sec theta minus 1 this is x so you will have L naught sec theta minus 1 and cos theta is 4 by 5 so sec theta will be 4 5 by 4 minus 1 so we will have elongation is L naught by 4 so this is the elongation now we need to find what is the velocity so uh, to find velocity uh, to find out the velocity we can use the energy conservation we need to find what is the velocity of A, what is the velocity of B, basically both will be equal. So if I apply energy conservation, you see, uh, if this string elongates by length x, so the potential energy stored in this will be half kx square. Now this will have velocity v, so this block will have kinetic energy half mv square. This block will also have kinetic energy 
half mv square but now there is a loss in potential energy this block initially it was here and now this block has moved in the downward direction and this length should be <laughs> equal to this length because whatever the length that has been uh, basically gone from here to here so it should be, should be lowered by this distance so this distance is nothing but so you have this distance is l naught so this is this angle is theta so this is l naught tan theta are you getting you can write tan theta is equals to if i write here tan theta is equals to this is the required distance let us say required distance is a and this point is a let us say this point is q so a q divided by l naught so a q divided by l naught so a q is basically l naught tan theta are you getting so i can write from here a q is nothing but l naught tan theta are you getting so this means this block has been lowered by a distance l naught tan theta are you getting so this block has been lowered by a distance l naught tan theta so you see what is the loss in potential energy this block is only losing the potential energy there is mg h is l naught tan theta so i can apply energy conservation this whole system there is no friction forces is acting so if i apply energy conservation so i can say loss in potential energy generally i apply loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy a uh, gain in kinetic energy and of course there is also gain in potential energy that is a spring a spring is also gaining some potential energy so loss in potential energy plus gain in kinetic energy plus gain in potential energy of a spring if you want you can write this term here itself there is a total loss are getting so what is the loss in potential energy is mgh and h we have already said n not tan theta so this is the loss in potential energy what is the gain in kinetic energy 1 is half mv square and both will have half mv square because velocity and masses are equal plus gain in potential energy of a spring that is half k x square are you getting so you see total energy loss should be equals to total energy gain energy gain we have in the form of kinetic energy plus energy gain we also have in the form of potential energy in the spring so you see what we are doing is total loss is equals to total gain and loss is only in terms of potential energy and gain we have in terms of kinetic energy plus potential energy of a spring now tan theta you see we have already derived cos theta is 4 by 5 So if cos theta is 4 by 5, so this is 4, this is 5, this is 3. So tan theta is 3 by 4. So I can plug this value here. So if I plug m z l naught tan theta is 3 by 4, this will be equal to m v square plus half k x square and k you have seen in the first part of the question we said k is 5 m z by l naught. x is nothing but the elongation we have already derived you see l not is x is l not by 4 so i can plug this value l not by 4 and let us make a square m goes throughout so i will have 3z l not by 4 this is equals to v a square plus 14 32 so 5 by 32 L not a square, L not a square goes, so we will have z into L not. Now this comes this side, so we will have v a square is equals to three by four minus five by thirty-two g L not. Now so if I take LCM, thirty-two four into eight and eight into three twenty-four minus five z L not. I am really happy because I am getting the answer. So v a square is 19 by 32 g l naught. So what will be the velocity? Velocity will be root of this. 
so let me write here so velocity will be root over 19 by 32 gl not are you getting so velocity will be 9 <laughs> under root 19 by 32 gl not you see what are the important point we have in this question is finding the extra elongation of a spring that is very important and that is related to the theta this is one important point we have second important point we have when this blocks lifts the horizontal plane at that point of time normal reaction will be zero so that is one condition we have so if i put the normal reaction is zero from there i can find expression for theta this is one b now the third thing that is important in this question is the velocity of block a and velocity of block b will be same and we can apply the energy conservation here to find out the velocity final velocity the velocity at the point of breaking off so this is a pretty easy problem not much concepts are involved but the calculation is slightly lengthy are you getting we'll discuss the next problem